I have nothing to hide. A victim of cancer, Joyce Vaughn was searching for any kind of help to combat her illness. Three years after her mother's death, it is still difficult for Lee to watch one minister in particular, Benny Hinn. And now stretch your hands and believe God to touch you today. And you and Lee says her mother did put her hands on the television screen and even went one step further. She went to a Hinn revival meeting in Houston. She felt the heat come on her chest. Now she breathes freely, no pain whatsoever. She, she came home and um, she had medicine to take, and she couldn't decide whether to take her medicine or not. And my sister was telling her, well, Benny Hinn said, if you take your medicine, then you'll die. So you can't talk about, you know, you have to refuse that you have the cancer. Lee says her mother stopped taking her medicine for a while. According to Lee, her mother felt she would be acting unfaithful to him if she sought medical attention after he had declared her healed. Holy, holy, as we lift our hands. Joyce Vaughn died less than a year after she stood on stage with him. Lee believes that Benny Hinn contributed to her mother's death because the preacher had convinced her mother that she was cured. Benny Hinn had suggested that she doesn't take her medicine, and my sister had told her, said, well, if you take your medicine, then your cancer will come back. Lee is not the only one who believes a televangelist contributed to a loved one's death. It's another rock and rollin' miracle crusade of Pastor Benny Hinn, but it's Broadway star Ben Vereen bringing the crowd to its feet. Freed, he says, of stiff legs that had cramped his dancing style only hours before. Heal this man, Jesus. Soon he's on stage testifying to a miracle. I couldn't kick my legs. Well, kick him now. <laughs> Your day for a miracle. Hinn broadcasts his healings on his TV show, followed by a pitch for money. And healing of boxer Evander Holyfield from a heart ailment he apparently never had. Using what he calls the power of the Lord, the preacher knocked over the former heavyweight champ at a crusade last June. But was it a miracle? Doctors now say it was apparently a misdiagnosis. Holyfield's problem was caused by fluids used to treat dehydration after his fight with Michael Moore a month before. And could Ben Vereen's years of medical treatment following a near-fatal car accident have allowed him to strut his stuff? He'd already danced on Broadway before this crusade. Benny Hinn knows how to milk a miracle. I command you, spirit of deafness, in Jesus' name, come out. These two brothers from Chicago, born profoundly deaf, were declared healed. A third brother, also deaf, was supposedly healed even though he wasn't there. In proxy, his mama is standing, and I break the curse of deafness on her son. Now! Glory, glory, glory. That's pretty exciting, but there's one problem. The boys are still deaf. At our request, a school audiologist tested them. The boys continue to have the same hearing loss that we've been measuring for years. No miraculous healing. No miraculous healing.